Welcome back to the Heads Up Show. I'm Steve and this is Heck. What's up, man? What's up? What's up, what's up? So this is a YouTube experience. You too can do this. Watch later and we'll get into how. So Heck, what's up, man? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, so I go to RC Edwards Middle School. Yep. I'm a rising seventh grader. I play inside linebacker, running back. Inside linebacker, running back. How old are you? 12. 12. So you came in the other day and you're like, man, I need a speed flex. What we're going to do is show you guys how to properly fit yourself for a helmet. So soft measuring tape, right? You probably have one of these lying around. Maybe your mom has one in a junk drawer or whatever. But on our helmet chart, there is a spectrum of measurements that you need to be in. So let me show you what you want to do. So come check me out. All right. So take this tape and you go right around the back of the head to the center of the forehead and then boom. So he is right here at 23. Now, 23, if you look at the chart, I believe an adult speed flex should be 22 to 23 and a half inches. So you are right in the perfect measurement for a large. We are going to supply you with the Riddell helmet pump with the short needle. If you're doing this yourself, do not use a long needle. Also, keep in mind, these bladders take very, very small amounts of air, like one pump. So if you're trying to jam this thing, you will pop them, okay? So that is how you properly measure your head. Now let's properly fit this on you to make sure. So go ahead and pop that on your head. And you don't need a face mask to do this because if it's a proper mask, it should not affect anything. Yep, so see if you can get that chin strap down. Yep, all right, so step a little bit closer to me. So what we wanna do is get these lower cam locks about where we need to be. Now this is elevated a little bit. So loosen these a little bit, give that a tug, lock it down, turn your head this way a little bit, loosen this. How does that feel? So okay. far so good. All right, now the helmet itself should, should only sit one inch above the eyebrows. So if it's sitting way tilted back, it's wrong. If it's covering your eyes, it's wrong. This is perfect. So shake your head for me. Yes and no. Right out of the gate, this is a solid fit. Now, if you wanted to, you can inflate these a touch. To release the cam locks, you press that button and pull at the same time. Same thing with that side. Put your fingers in the ear holes, spread, lift. You've been playing football for a while, so you know the routine. That is how you properly fit yourself for a helmet. Let's explain exactly what we have going on here, right? So an adult large Riddell Speed Flex. The adult helmets have black interior paddings. Youth have gray. Why don't you take that aside for a second? This is an SF2BD face mask in white for an inside linebacker. This is a great mask. Uh, I know the single wire is probably the most popular, um, but you should not be wearing that as a linebacker, even though I see it time and time again. Don't, don't, don't do that. We have black unbranded Under Armour visor clips, black Speedflex face mask hardware, and clear mirror shock zero G visor. Everybody knows the shock zero G is probably the most perfect fit for your Riddell Speedflex face mask. And then of course, we have green gridiron, 3D bumpers, an embossed Tech American flag, and a white warning label because we took that big ugly factory one off just for you. Yeah, man, all right. Cool, cool, okay. So quick release hardware for the pin, simply press, pull that out, and then take that pin out. If you can do the rest of them, These two. Yeah. Cool. Now, take the metal parts out and put the clears aside when we don't need them anymore. Now, 
you want to do the flag and the warning label wherever you want to put them. I'm just going to sit here and watch. How's yeah, that sound? Put the yeah. warning, okay. That's where I would have put it. The American flag, really up to you. There's a couple different places you can put it. I, I like it when it's here or here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Bang, step one, complete. 3D bumper? That's all you. <laughs> Good answer. So the 3D bumpers that we get made, the green gridiron ones, are the same ones that we send to the NFL and colleges, and the adhesive on the back of this stuff is wicked. So if you screw up, yeah, you're gonna have a hell of a time taking it off. So just rub that in, and now you are good for a whole season. Bang, nothing against Riddell, but that's a whole lot cooler, wouldn't you say? Okay, so let's take this aside. Let's put the helmet off to the side. And I suggest that you put this, oh, here you go. I suggest you put the visor on the face mask. Do you know how to do that? Yes. All right, cool. So these visor clips, what's great about the Under Armour unbranded, they're intended to get pointed up or down. So this is clear mirror. These are allowed in game. They are, you look through that, they are clear as clear can be. They just have a slight coating on the outside to protect, so an extra layer of um, scratch resistancy, if that's a word. Yeah, let's call it a word. All right, now, face mask hardware. Do you know how to put face mask hardware on? Yes, pretty, yes. So the, the goes on top, right? Big goes on top, that's right. There are two different sizes, large on the top, small on the bottom. Heck yeah, man, you got the technique down. So refresh my memory here. How long have you been playing football? Uh, about six years. How did you hear about us to come in? Uh, I saw on YouTube, I was just scrolling through YouTube and I saw All right. like a YouTube experience and I said, I told my mom I wanted to come do it. <laughs> and you're a pretty local guy. I mean, you live like Clemson. an hour away? You live in Clemson. Yeah, like so 40 minutes. 40, 40, 45 minutes, yeah. So that's cool. We have people coming from all over the country to do these. You are fortunate enough to live here locally. So because you live close enough and because we had this, you were able to come in. These speed flexes, I don't have to tell you guys, they're harder and harder to find. We have them. We get them in constantly. So keep checking the website and you did all right. All right, cool, this is coming along. Why don't we swap? You take this, I'll take the helmet over here. I'm gonna do the front bumper for you. So right now, this is what it looks like. These helmets, if you're watching this today, call it May 27th, 28th. From now on, these will come on all field use helmets for free. And that, it just, it just looks awesome. You know, it's such, it's such a good look. Okay, here's what I would consider to be the potential hard part, but I really want you to try this. So you've seen me say in all these videos, don't feel bad if you can't get this right out of the gate because they're a little tricky, but I'm gonna show you what to do and then you're gonna take it. Okay. So you take this, flip these the way that it should be, right? So what I do is, Take your hand, go like this, okay. okay? Then push this, push this. Make sure that this isn't, yep, yeah, so we're, we're, we're good. Are and all the pins the same size? They are, yeah, okay. good, good question. So you take that pin and then you take this, push that in so you see how it's engaged but not. And then from the inside and the outside, you push. So you're doing like a push from the in and out. You follow? Give it a try. Okay. That's right. Yep. Let me see if I engage. Yep, uh, you're good. Now, yep, push from the inside and the out. 
Yeah, bro. All right, man. I'm excited because it's not it's not easy to do sometimes. Um, all right, keep it going. You finish it up. This is officially the probably the least amount of work I ever had to do on a helmet build, and I'm okay with that. Yep, you're good. Yep. All right, man. Look what you just built. Now, can can we cut this off? All right, take that off. Because this is yours now, man. It's all yours. Let's take a look at what you built. You got to put that on your head with that amazing Troy Palomalo do you got going on. Yes. Let me see. Look at me. Yeah, dude. How's it feel? Good. Yeah, man. Crank that chin strap down. Let's make sure you're, you're all good before you leave here. Dude, you killed it. That's how easy and fun it is. Come to Green Grid Iron, do the YouTube experience. You know you want yourself a new helmet. Be like my boy Hack here. Come on in and see us. Links are in the description of this video along with all the parts used. And if you made it to the end of this, give Hack a shout out. Tell your friends and family about this. And until next time, cheers.